What if we tell you this animation? Intro, motion and the outro was made with just one click. No keyframe, no position tracking, no endless tweaking. Just drag, drop and boom. Your video moves like a magic. If you're a Premiere Pro user, tired of static content or spending hours of animating clips, this is the plugin you have been waiting for. Let me introduce you to Gravity, a one-click animation plugin that makes your edit look cinematic, clean and professional in seconds. So I have made several videos on Gravity, how you can use Gravity to make captions, how you can use Gravity to generate different stock media and GIF images. But today I'm not going to touch on that. Today I'm going to show you how you can animate your existing clips on your timeline using Gravity. Yes, it will save a lot of time and you don't need to go to After Effects to animate different text or different icons. You can do it all inside Adobe Premiere Pro. So I have made few edits here. If I play it back, you can see there is a background and some icons and text. Those all are edited using Gravity. So how you can do that? First thing, you need to install Gravity plugin. Once you install Gravity plugin, if you go to extension, there you'll see Gravity Media Browser. So that is the panel you're gonna need to add animation, right? So if I go to my project here, I have added few icons. So if I want to add a background here on my timeline, I can just click here on the new icon. Then I can go here, color mat, and from here I can add a color mat, right? So I'm just selecting white color. Now I can click and drag this here on my timeline. So if I play it back, one click. No, the background doesn't have any animation. So I want to have a slide up animation. So to add a slide up animation, select the background, then go here to Brevity Media Browser. And from there, you can add different animation. You can add intro animation. You can add constant animation during the duration of the clip and then you can use outro animation so first let's add a slide up animation if i go to intro and then slide here i can select slide up which is this one there are three different variant slow medium and fastest so i'm going to use medium then update it will automatically add the effect if i play it back now one click so you can see the background is animating so what you can do if you see closely here there isn't any motion blur right so to add motion blur you can just select the background go to effects control panel you can just increase the shutter angle and de disable use composites shutter angle right so i'll just increase it maybe 180 perfect it will have natural motion blur now no keyframe so now i want to add a icons here so if i want to add icon i can go to here again to my asset folder this is the icon i want to use this one i can click and drag it here i can change the duration or the length and then i want to add a in animation a constant animation and an outro animation so select the clip go to Revity media browser and from here we are gonna see different variant right so if i want to add a 3d animation i can go here there are a lot of animation that you can use so maybe i will use swivel first so it will fly and then swivel right so if i see the preview no keyframe so no keyframe no if, yeah it's looking great now i want to add a constant animation so if i go to the constant section i can select different variant if i go to shake from here i can maybe use shake both saddle so i'm just updating by selecting this one so it will update the animation so now if i play it back no keyframe you no can see tracking, it no has a shake animation it will engage the viewer when they are watching that video right again you can add an outro animation go to outro and you can select maybe slide down this one so we have added intro constant and outro click update it will update the animation and then you can play it back so if i show you 
no keyframe, no position tracking, no endless tweaking. Yeah, it's that simple. Now, suppose you want to add a text and then you can add animation using the exact same feature. So maybe I can increase the background. Here I can add any text. Drag, drop and boom. So here I can add drag. So select the text tool or type tool then just write whatever you want then go to properties panel you can change the font size then orientation i'll just keep it in the center now one problem that is if i select the text you can see it is not showing me the animating parameters so how you are gonna animate this text so to animate it just right click and then click on nest just nest the text now it will act like a clip now you can just add any animation suppose i want to add a bounce animation so i can just select maybe bounce down medium update so if i play just it back tracking. just drag drop so that's it you can add animation to a text also right now let's see how you can animate a clip so here a video clip that i have imported if i click and drag it i can import it to our timeline so that is the video now i can just click on fill to fill the whole screen so how you can animate this or similar way select the clip go to preview media browser and from here select the animation that you want to use so i'll just use maybe tilt medium fly tilt medium so that's the animation i'm going to select so now if i play it back or spending hours you can see the clip is revealing like we have added a transition on top of it it is looking great also you can add outro animation if you want so you can animate text you can animate solids you can animate then clips icons etc using this plugin so uh, that is how you can eliminate the workflow of adding different keyframes or using after effects inside adobe premiere pro and it will help you to animate your asset effortlessly want to try brevity there's a seven day free trial waiting for you just click the link in the description below whether you're making youtube videos client edits or social media content this plugin will save your time and update your style seriously one click animation you have got to see it in action so that's how you can animate your entire project clips text and icons without even touching the keyframe panel and you don't need to go to adobe after effects for that brevity makes motion design in premiere pro effortless if this helped you don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more smart editing tools just like this one and hey before you leave try the plugin for free using the link below until the next time keep creating smarter not harder.